school many of many or some of you would have used the facilities at St. Peter's College as part of your own learning development and growth be it the sports ground or any other facility of St. Peter's College we will share more content on St. Peter's College as the evening progresses especially during dinner so what I would like you to do also is to refer to the program for any further information on what's going to happen this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have a fantastic photographer, Roy Ratna from Roy Graphics. I hope you were able to capture a photograph because we would like to retain those memories of you attending the Centenary Bowl, Winter Bowl of St. Peter's College, celebrating 100 years. Okay, let me step through to the housekeeping, which is pretty uh, important in this venue. A lot of things have changed from the past, so let me... The Most Reverend Dr. Anthony Kudeh, Archbishop of Colombo, and Very Reverend Father Maurice J. Lego, Rector of St. Joseph's College, the two who were responsible for founding this august institution. The Valdavata Canal as it looked when Father Lego chose an abandoned cinnamon land for his project to create a school, a branch of St. Joseph's College. From selecting and purchasing of the land to designing, planning and supervising the construction, Father Legog attended to all tasks while performing his duties as Rector of St. Joseph's College. St. Peter's was born as St. Joseph's College, Colombo South on the 18th of January 1922. Reverend Father Maurice J. Legog was the Rector while Reverend Father Nicholas Pereira was appointed as Manager. The building constructed had a chapel, seven classrooms, priest quarters and an office and a little over 200 students were enrolled on the first day. The college progressed so steadily that in 1926 the education department recommended that the fledgling school be run as a separate institution. This was given effect to in 1927 and the school was renamed as St. Peter's College in June 1927 and Father Nicholas Pereira became the first rector of St. Peter's College. Students increased, new buildings came up, more facilities were added, sports and other extracurricular activities commenced from the earliest days and St. Peter's has come a long way since those pre-World War II days and stands shoulder to shoulder with older schools. Now some of the reverend personages that guided St. Peter's through the years. On screen now, a few among the famed Peterites who served Mother Lanka. From the earliest days, education and extracurricular activities were emphasized on at St. Peter's College. The spiritual guidance of reverend priests and spiritual activities that help mold a caring and disciplined student. The quality of education that is provided by graduate, trained and experienced teachers whose prime aim is to provide the best education to their duties. 
the facilities to support the quality education provided that have become the envy of many other schools of repute. The swimming pool, gym, playground and the largest pavilion in addition to many other sporting facilities not to mention the best coaching talent available to our students all go towards contributing to St. Peter's becoming arguably the most sought after school of learning. Though designed 95 years ago, the college flag and crest have meaningful colours and elements combined which remain valid even in this modern era. Having started out in 1922, though disturbed by World War II, the school's takeover and youth unrest in the country, Petrites have remained undaunted and are now ready to celebrate a centenary of excellence in 2022. At this juncture, we would like to reveal the centenary logo, which will be important to the Petrites who are looking forward to this celebration with much enthusiasm and loyalty.
who have done a, such a wonderful job of developing the OBU throughout the years. Today we have a wonderful event. Additionally, my sincerest gratitude to the dance committee and their families who have sacrificed their time, energy and resources to make this dinner dance possible. Thank you guys. I can't come to you and individually thank you guys, but you know what we have done. My special thanks also goes to sponsors, donors and the countless helpers, families and well-wishers who have contributed generously to this dance to be a reality and a success. Finally, thank you all for being with us tonight. Be in good spirits and bring good spirits and enjoy yourself and God bless you. A big round of applause to Rosara. Thank you, Rosara. Wonderful to have you at the helm. And well done. Thank you for bringing through a lot of the youth into the association too. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a surprise. Right? And the interesting thing that you might note is that we organize this all without a single physical meeting. So there, that's the new way we work. Absolutely. We use technology to its optimum. So, okay. Rashana, where are you? It's not here. All right.
sing happy birthday to Shinan Miss Blossom at the pick. That's why I have to build this right now. Hello? Yeah. Okay. And the seventh birthday is a Josephian. So we got a Pete Ryan and a Josephian, Mr. Suresh Mirando. Okay, raffle number, ticket number 409, Sri Lanka, and a two night stay in a premium room at the Cinnamon Grand Hotel. Congratulations, and congratulations and well done. Okay, let's move to the second round. Return economy class ticket once again drawn by Mr. Sakura Vijayadunga 
includes a three nine minute breakfast stay at Jetwing Hotel. Another one. Ticket number 173. Ticket number 173. Second prize. Sri Lankan Airlines return ticket. Here, yeah, number two. Here we go. Ticket number 173. Ticket number 173, please. Congratulations, Mr. Maxi Victoria. And you got three nights better breakfast stay for two at the Jet Wing Hotel. Oh, you got it. Fantastic. All right, big round of applause and a massive thank you to Mr. Sandro Vijayadunga, sales manager for Sri Lankan Airlines in Australia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move through the third prize, which is a Kanchi Puram Sari with matching jewelry valued at, at $500. This has been donated by a well -wisher. But may I ask one of our committee members' wives to come and do the honours of drawing this raffle ticket. Can I call upon Drupati Velayu to come forward, please? Yeah. With it, I may also request the presence of Mr. Amal Wahab and That is for the fourth prize. Okay. <laughs> Ticket number 50. Ticket number 50. That is for the Kantipur group link. You will be doing the honors. Ticket number 50. So, for the matching jewelry. Oh. Awesome. Wonderful. Got it. Yeah, it is. All right, congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, buddy. You look so sexy. Oh, nice say? Where's that siren? Where's the siren and the matching jewelry? Okay, let's move on. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, fourth prize. Mixed dozen of... Mixed dozen of premium... Wine for sales, valued at three hundred dollars. Thank you, courtesy of Mr. Amalwab. Third, okay, fourth prize. Ticket number two nine nine, two hundred and ninety nine. Yep, two ninety nine. Congratulations, that's Sonali Bhutans. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, we need a photograph. We need a photograph. Mr. Williams? Williams, come on, rise it, come on. The rise it, come on, rise it. Milan. So for the fifth prize, may I call upon Mrs. Milan Nana Segrum? Please. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the fifth prize is a gift voucher from Saris by Mel. Now, hand-picked selection of six saris at affordable prices to cater to anyone's preference. The saris by Mel has an exclusive range of silk. She has an exclusive range of silk. One of designer saris, raw silk, which can cater for that special location from informal to formal gatherings. When Mel selects a sari, and let me know, let me tell you, We've noted this, she keeps one thing in mind. It's not quantity, but it is quality. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask Manan, please do the honors as you draw the ticket. Yes, thank you. It's still six yards, right? Six yards, okay. Ticket number 24. 
ticket number 24. Sorry, it's by mail. Yes, here you go. You've got a lucky winner. And your name, ma'am? Arishma. Ticket number 24. Yeah, it is ticket number 24. Congratulations. Mel, if you don't mind, take it.
Uh, if I, Laurie, if I could leave this with you.